Happy day eight, everyone. My name is Carrie. This is Target Lily Designs. Welcome to day eight of the 12 days of Stitch Mess. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm happy to be here. I've got some great, fantastic things to share with you. And let's just dig right in before I forget, because I haven't yet. Have you noticed? I'm so excited. The word of the day today is peace. You want to use peace in both your crossroads puzzle as well as down below when you want to comment to win some of the prizes for today's daily giveaway. So today we have a Tiger Lily finish, a cross stitch designer to share with you, as well as a new indie dyer to share with you. I'm super excited to share these three businesses, two businesses and my finish with you. I've got a little bit of a story regarding my finish, but we're going to save that one to later. Actually, let's do that first. Let me show you my finish for today. Excuse my reach. Didn't have it handy. Should have. So my finish today. Yay. I love it so much. It is, I finished stitching this one definitely in 2022. It's been in the need to be finished box for quite a while. It's part of a plum street. So I put gingham on the back and my cording on the side. Remember I told you I was going to have a cording problem. This cording is extra chunky because it is four strands of white and four strands of black. And I kind of dig on, I think four is going to be my magic and there's still glue gun hairs, a rogue. These, I think four is going to be my magic number for these ornament finishes. I think it's just enough to fit in the cracks, nice, the cracks, the crevices, the in between the board area. I like the coverage that it gives me and it gives me just enough of the color going around that you can actually see it from the front and the back and it's not kind of sunken into the cracks. So this is four strands and this is, again, it's a Plum Street sampler pattern, Mary, it's either one, two or three. Cause I'll be honest, I have one, two and three. I don't remember which one this is, but if you go and look, it's a sweet little pattern. I did all three of them. I haven't stitched the third one. I haven't stitched a third one. Which one it is, I don't remember. But I haven't, I've stitched two of them. Maybe you'll see the next one sometime. Um, I used the same colors, so I did not use call for colors. I kind of pulled a, a red and a green and the black and a white. This was before my project information tracker cards so I could tell you intelligently what I did. Going forward, we're, we're setting ourselves up, setting ourselves up for success later on because I'm keeping track and I've got this cute little recipe box and their cards are in there. And so I can always go back and reference after the cards were invented. But these, this was stitched prior to my project information cards. So it's just a best guess. But I love the finish and I stitched and I finished this one up real quick. Now the story. I thought it'd be fun to tell you the story because maybe you're like me. And if you remember from a couple days ago, I broke my cord maker. Yeah, it's supposed to have a little cranky dial thing like a fishing rod. <laughs> Woo! It's supposed to have a little cranky rod there. It doesn't because I dropped it on the floor and it's made of plastic and my hardwood floor kind of smashed it to smithereens. So I was going to go to my local LNS and pick one up. I went there. I restrained and didn't get anything. How proud are you of me? Because you know, Santa's coming and my list is long already. So, um, but they did not have the cord maker. So I was crushed. What to do? What to do? Because now I'm kind of addicted to the cord making. Um, you know, this was two strands. So this was one whole skein of DMC for both colors, four strands. Did this nice four by five ornament custom cording. So what this cost me like a dollar twenty five in cording. Love it. I just love it. Anyway, so how do I make cording without a chronic maker? Well, so my sweet Patrick says, um you get the drill. Do you see what he did? He put a cup hook in the drill bitty thing. Yeah, I do have power tools, but he put a cup hook in the drill bitty thing. So now this is my new cord maker and you just, and you turn it rather than cranking it. My mind was blown. I, I just fell out. So you, I do still use this 
as the when you're making two colors you put it in the middle and you pull it do you know how to make cord and you pull it in the middle and then centrifugal force physics it kind of zzz. so i do still use this because i don't want to hang with this but the twisting and the doing i said well now my studio needs a power drill so this might be my new studio power drill maybe it doesn't need that fancy of one but it works like a charm friends and trust you and me you'll be seeing more cording over the next couple days of stitch miss because my cording addiction is back in full effect now that i've got a power drill okay that's my finish for today I <laughs> What'd you think about my power drill? Oh my goodness. I, it was a lifesaver. It was just, I didn't even know what I was going to do. So it was a fantastic day. You know, sometimes you need those little like wha-bam moments in your day. And that was one of them. Loved it. Okay. So anyway, let's dig on, let's dig into today's featured designers. So I've got an Etsy designer Cosford Rise stitchery for you. Do you remember that one? So we're going to go ahead and stick away clip away go away I'm gonna go and show you some of her social media Instagram and Etsy let's look at some of her patterns shall we Cosford rise stitchery and here we are again bringing back a alumni of Flossmas 2021 but I love telling you guys these stories and giving you updates on our featured designers so Cosford rise stitchery is a woman named Kelly she lives in the UK She's originally from Arkansas, went to UK for university about 18, maybe 19 years ago now, and never came back. And she does all, she loves all things cross-stitch. She's a midwife by day, but has started dabbling in cross-stitch design. So here we are on her Instagram page. And so what I want to tell you is last year, she's got a beautiful Instagram page, her tag is Cosford Rides Stitchery. So if you don't follow her, you definitely should. She's got some fantastic patterns. She, um, this year in 2022, she did this sweet little monthly basket series. And we're going to talk about one of those, the December basket later on, but she's got beautiful, beautiful patterns and you can see all the different designs. So let's go ahead and hop over to her Etsy shop. What's interesting about the evolution of Kelly and her shop. I went back and I read the bio that she wrote me for 2021. And at that time in 2021 in December, so a year ago, she had seven cross stitch patterns and she said, you know, I'm always trying to work on more. Here we are a year later. Kelly is crushing it. She has 52 designs and they're all fantastic. So let's talk about a couple of them that maybe you haven't seen yet. One of them, like I mentioned, is her her basket series. In 2022, she did a sweet basket series. There was a basket themed for every month and it's super sweet. Look at the, looks like poinsettia, also looks like a quilt square star, Norwegian star. I am here for it. And then the sweet little bird, such a sweet little thing. And she also, one of the other ones we're going to talk about today is happy Christmas to all. Love that Santa flying through the sky with his reindeer over top of this UK sweet little village. She uses a lot of inspiration from her surroundings, her new where she lives. Here's a wander through Cosford Rise. The sweet little vignettes of her towns when she takes walks through her where she lives. And I love that people find the inspiration from that. So here's, you can see a couple of the other baskets. We've got the March basket, the autumn baskets, lots of birds and puppies and flowers and things. Let's see if I can find the sweet little peppermint house from last year. Let's go to Christmas. There it is. This was, so she's got this sweet little peppermint house. I need to pull that whip out. That was such a cute, this is an actual house down the road from her in her sweet little town. I love that teal house. And then she also has this sweet, I know sometimes it's hard to find, um, you know, Christmas, more religion, nativity inspired cross stitch patterns. And this one is very sweet. Um, I love it. It, it just, speaks very well. The coverage is good and, and the picture is so nice. So Kelly over at Cosford Rise Stitchery, I hope you find something that you 
might need to add to cart and kit up and get started. Did you love them? I love them so much. She's got some fantastic patterns. And we've got that basket. The December basket is today's daily giveaway, as well as the happy Christmas to all. So you get your choice of PDF patterns. So remember to use your use the word of the day down in the comments below if you wanted to want a chance to win one of those PDFs. Now let's dig into the yarn dyer of today shall we so this business i'm going to go ahead and clip away and show you her etsy shop and then we're going to come back and look at her yarn in person today's featured etsy business is a busy life a busy life is a small business owned by nanette she is a retired elementary school teacher from Colorado. She's been a, t she was a school teacher for over 30 years. She started knitting when she was in junior high. Her first project was a sweater. Look at her. But then she put it away and picked it back up during when, during her momhood and has now decided as a retired teacher, she wanted to dabble in the world of dyeing yarn. So about four years ago, she started to exploring the possibilities of dyeing yarn and the rest is history. So here we are, we're going to go ahead and pop on over to her Etsy shop. So she has two different ways to connect with her. One is her Etsy shop where you can see she's got all of her products right here, beautiful yarns, all different weights and colors and project bags and stitch markers and all of the things. Of course, we're going to see some real life squishy yarn at the end, but I do want to go ahead and show you guys her Shopify site. So as we know, Etsy's making it more and more difficult for small businesses to succeed as they increase their fees across the board. So if you're comfortable, Nanette would love for you to support her via her Shopify site versus Etsy. It just, it helps a little bit more to go to the small business versus Etsy. And it, I think her website here is a lot easier to navigate. So when you come over here, both of them will be linked down below in the show notes. So when you come here, you will see this is her main page and she's got beautiful different pictures for you to see all the things she has on the left hand side is a very easy to navigate collection. So you go ahead and click on her Christmas collection and this will bring up all of her Christmas colors, which we will see are gorgeous. So if you go ahead and drill down into it, you can see all her different colors. Of course, as always, I love looking at the names, Ponderosa Pine, Moose Tracks, Autumn Dreams. She's got a Christmas mini skein as well as gnomes, project notions, and things like that. Now let's go ahead and drill into one of them. So her peppermint bark, which is a beautiful colorway. She gives you lots of different options and colors for you to see all the yummy colors and speckles and texture that's in her yarn. But then when you drill into it, you can also see that you have your option of what yarn base you want, whether it's fingering weight, sport weight, DK, super wash, worsted, and bulky, which is great to be able to have. That is a huge spectrum that she goes all the way to bulky because I know I've got a couple hats that I love to knit and a bulky knits up so, so fast. Fingering is gorgeous. It just is a lot more stitching. So then she's, you know, you can go into her November collection, her variegated speckles, beautiful, uh, fantastic colors to choose from. Rainbow trout. Look at that. That is such a yummy colorway. All those different colors and speckles. Some of them, also, it comes in different weights. So she's got different fingerings, DK sport weight. All of it is whatever works for you. And then, of course, she also has project bags which are gorgeous, canvas, gnomes. She also has some stitch markers that she throws in every once in a while, mini skeins and sock sets, which are very cute, and a flash in the pan. A flash in the pan is using the dyes that are producing a one of a kind. So this is not recreatable, but this is one of those things where sometimes you have a little bit of extra dye. Of course, you don't want to waste it, but she puts these things on sale. So you can't buy 
it is what it is. There's no choices, but you get a great deal on some of these. Look at this deep purple flash in a pan, which is a super wash fingering weight. And there's just one of them. And so you can add that to your card if you're looking for a deal. So let's go ahead and bring you back to the episode and I'll show you some of Nanette's gorgeous yarns in person. Did you love it? She's got so many great things. And first of all, I love, love, love that she is a teacher for 30 years. And now in her new retired life, she has found a new love and a new hobby and has gone in full force. Jump into the deep end, girl. I fully support it. And your yarns are yummy. So let's look at them up close and personal, shall we? So she sent us some gorgeous things to check out. One of them... Let me make sure they're both the same. Yes. So she sent us one of her sock sets. So her sock set is going to have 400 yards of fingering weight yarn in roasted marshmallow. And just the color, it's just enough color in there. It's very nice and fair. Roasted marshmallow is perfect, but look at the, the texture and the tones, just so many in there, little pops. And it goes beautifully with this mini skein. Does she tell me the name of it? No, but it's a 20 gram mini skein for your heels and toes. And that color, it's almost like chestnut, is, is it's an orange coppery color, which is right there. And it complements this roasted marshmallow set beautifully so gorgeous like those look at the colors and it's beautiful beautiful so she sent two of those and then she also sent us two of her christmas collection so this is five mini skeins of 80 yards each 20 grams of her fingering weight which is 80 20 superwash merino and nylon and it's this gorgeous collection of mini skeins that all hold hands and play so nice. Look at this beautiful pink. Let's see if it, if it doesn't. Oh, this beautiful pink. And it's got just enough of the green and the texture and the corally red to pop in. And then I've, this looks like it's that roasted marshmallow color, which of course plays beautifully when it of more of a yummy yellowy ivory color which has the green in it which plays lovely with this hunter green or evergreeny pine green it's a beautiful collection her christmas collection of five mini skeins are fantastic and the sweet mrs nanette also gave us beautiful stitch markers what a gorgeous collection it's a there's a bell and a snowflake and mr santa he's so cute i love them so hopefully you found something that you love go check it out give her a follow today's daily prize giveaway you're going to win the christmas collection mini sock set generously donated by Danette. thank you so much and I'm going to throw in one of these Christmas themed stitch markers and into the grand prize box goes this sock set, which is fantastic as well as one of these stitch markers. So many great things generously donated by our small businesses. All right, friends, that is day eight for us. We have, I hope you found something you love. Maybe a little story, maybe a little stitching, maybe a little knitting, yarn, crochet, all the things. Give some love to our small businesses and I will see you tomorrow, friends. Happy Stitchmas. Thank you.